have a very vibrant uh, community of staff and students here in the School of Healthcare Sciences. Um, the staff have got great depth of experience and we're really committed to improving patient care and providing students with really good um, student experience and learning opportunities. We have an inclusive approach to uh, the interview process here and we involve a lot of our colleagues from practice. We have patients and service users involved in the selection of students that come here. We have a very strong personal tutor system to help support you throughout your time here um, and that's supplemented by a strong academic supervision team who will help you with your assignment work. Um, throughout your three years. I think it's good because it's, it's kind of a safe environment. It's an opportunity to take your time as well without having to feel rushed and stressed with your mentors looking over you. And but we can do it together as well and teach each other. This is the uh, School of Healthcare Sciences State of the Art X-ray room. We are uh, very keen within the school to ensure that there is a seen link between the application of theory and practice. And this x-ray room being a realistic representation of what our students will find in the NHS enables us to do that with our radiography students. They use this room extensively for both um, positioning skills and also applying the theories they've learned in the classroom to a realistic practical experience. A big thing about this course is the way we get to put theory into practice. We go into placement within the first semester, so it's really good to put what you've learned into what we're doing. Also, I think the small year groups that we have, around 20 per year, it means we get more interactive lectures and we've got more opportunity for one-on-one -on -one tutorials. It's weird when you're actually going onto the ward, like how the skills have actually helped you do adapt to you know, to make situations easier. If we didn't have sessions like this, we wouldn't have a clue have what to do. It gives you the confidence to feel like you can join in. You feel like, well, I know what's going to roughly happen so I can take part. You come into your second and third year, that you, get, you build up your confidence. Our BM programme is available bilingually. There are opportunities for Welsh medium supervision and the possibility that you can get a Welsh medium scholarship from the College of Pride. We offer academic support to the teaching staff within the faculty as well as all the healthcare sciences students. The resources we have on site are obviously books and journals but more recently a lot of that is electronic and it means they can be getting on with their work at home or um, when they're on placement. We have a very integrative approach to education and one of the things we recognise is how important it is for the students to have a sense of belonging when they come to the university and one of the best ways to do this is for them to have support from their peers. Uh, it works well and it gives the peer guides themselves plenty of skills too. As peer guides what we give to the students is we give them an extended warm welcome throughout the, throughout the year really. If students have any concerns which they feel they can't go to their lecturers about or they want to talk to their friends about them they can come to the peer guides. I became a peer guide because I wanted to help others and give people that guidance and someone to ask for help and turn to when they need it. It's got everything that you need. It's got all the shops, all the places you like to go as a student when you go out at night. It's quite good. It's close to Chester and Liverpool. We've got accommodation here as well and it's right in the town centre. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes to walk from Halls to um, uni here. We've been really, really well prepared. Everything since first year has sort of like brought us to the end of these three years. And I think like you'll always be like a little bit nervous working as an independent practitioner, but everything that we've learned is just all sort of come together. I think it's going to be fantastic when we're individual practitioners.